make the most out of this then now I'm wet. Come on. I do love exploring new places. Ugh. Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. First day of the trout season, gonna be lure fishing for trout today. Really excited to have a go, just because there's some really pretty trout on this tiny stream. As you can see this tunnel behind me, I am actually gonna to have to go into it today and you'll see why in a minute. So this is gonna be a silly video, fun video though, hopefully. If you enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm gonna be exploring a whole new stretch of this tiny, tiny little stream that I originally found using Google Maps. And that section of the stream is only really accessible by going through there. So it's a bit of an adventure, a bit of an explore trip today. Let's see, let's catch a trout, let's get cracking. So my setup for the day is the Fish Rig 180 by Rigged and Ready. This is an ultralight semi-telescopic rod. Really, really good rod for trout fishing, perch fishing and stuff. I've got um, a reel I'm just testing out for someone on there, loaded with about five pound. So that's a GoPro bleeping, about five pound um, mono. I'll show you what lure I'm kicking things off with. So this is a size two Meps. Ideally, I'd like to use a size one in here, but I don't have any just because the trout are pretty small. Um, this has got a treble hook, but it's all barbless. I only fish barbless for trout now. And look at this for a strange little spot. I've not fished here in a good while. <laughs> I've actually hardly ever even caught anything, to be honest. But I have seen the odd trout around, so... I'm not sure, maybe we'll even pick one up underneath that bridge. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I can get right up close to that, actually. Got to be careful I don't go out my depth and all that. He's in room for a bad time. Hi. So I'm just stealthily approaching this now. If I can pick up a fish from right under there, that would be mental. No idea if there's going to be any snags or even anything under there. Fish, fish, first cast. Got him. <laughs> what a result. Wet your hands if you're holding trout, always. So look at this for an absolutely beautiful little trout. First cast under that bridge. I almost can't believe it. Much longer of a fish than I was expecting to even catch out of here. Let's get him on his way. Give him a minute to rest in my hand. He'll be off in a minute, no problem. Now I'm not sure if it's because the water temperature is really cold, but he's having a good old chill in the shallow. I'm not sure if it's just me that finds this sort of thing really interesting, but because of the huge amount of like, floods lately, this bank on the other side of this river here, or this stream, has completely eroded away. And inside, we see fragments of pottery and stuff, and I really wonder how long that's been in there for. Like, if we just get this, it's wedged in pretty firmly. I might clean that up actually and just show you. Really interesting little design that. I'd love to be able to date something like this but I don't quite have the skill set to do that. If anyone has any idea what this might be or how old it might be, well obviously I know it's a cup more and more but any more information would be appreciated. Right here we go again. This should be interesting to see if there's another fish that lives in here got a good feeling about this can we make it two for two? Oh, i just hit a snag straight away there so i might have something on my hook oh fish oh it's come off 
Oh, that would have been two for two. That was a tiny little trout. That was a lot smaller. That was because of the barbless hooks that just happened. Oh, no. Snag. Don't want to lose that spinner, so I'm going to have to go in for it, I think. Just get a fresh GoPro battery on. It's going to be a bit dark in there, though. It's going to be a bit grotty. I'm going to have to hunch a bit, but... I don't know. Might be fun, mightn't it? So, mission tunnel lure fishing starts now. I think I'm probably going to end up getting wet doing this. Oh, and I'm wet. Water in the welly. Too late to turn back now. Let's just go for it. I'm not really not so sure about this. Really not so sure about this. Let's make the most out of this then now I'm wet. Come on. Come on. So this canal that this thing runs under is the Lancaster Canal. I don't know how long ago this is formed. I'm actually up to my knees in water now. My wellies are soaked through. But look at those stalactites on top. They're absolutely incredible. Look at some of this stuff here. I initially thought it was stalactites, but maybe it isn't, maybe it's something else. Soldiering on. It's getting deeper and deeper now. Wellies, completely sodden. So if I had to take a guess, I'd say no one has been under here in a very, very long time. Honestly, I'd say this, this bit of the river may well have never been fished before. That's a cool feature as well. What on earth am I doing this for? <laughs> like a phoenix out of the ashes. He emerges from the other side of the tunnel. I've been achieved absolutely nothing whatsoever. Apart from saving my spinner. Was it worth it? A hesitant yes. It was worth it. Trout absolutely love little overhangs like that tree there. So if I can run this sort of past there, then there's a chance. Oh, I thought I had one then. Just a branch. As I was saying, there's a chance of a fish. So this is full on exploration fishing. I've never been to this bit before. Fished under that bridge. Never walked through it. Never actually trekked through it. And I'm seeing quite a lot of nice streams, so I think with a bit of luck, we might just be able to catch something else. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Let's see if we can get another, should we? Oh, I do love exploring new places. Ugh. Especially when I've got a welly full of river water. <laughs> Two wellies full of river water. Oh, and I can see another bridge. So if my watercraft and my years fishing's taught me anything, it's that there'll be a nice juicy trout sat underneath that water there. That's because trout love to just sit and wait for food to come their way as well as going out hunting it. Somewhere in here. But it's very rocky very challenging to fish this. I'm completely in the middle of nowhere now. Well, not the middle of nowhere. So I know my bearings, obviously, but in terms of places I've fished before, rivers, streams I've even seen, this is completely new to me. Let's see if I can just whip a little cast around this corner. Well, I've fished on a bit. No more luck. The very unfortunate reality of the situation. Is that unless I want to walk back along a really busy road, I'm going to have to go back through this tunnel. This is not ideal, but I, I did sort of get myself in into this situation, didn't I? All right, let's see if we can pick up another fish. Come on. Come on, trout. I know you want it. Well, I have to admit, I'm glad that's over, but I'm going to be uh, cracking onto a few little pools I know now, just a bit further down the stream, where I'm a lot more likely to catch a fish. I have to admit, I am slightly surprised I didn't get another in there, but hopefully we'll get another somewhere else. Another cool relic I've just stumbled across. 
mad to think that every little thing you see like this has its own story. It was made by someone, it was owned by someone, used by someone, and then thrown away by someone. God knows how long ago. I know it probably wasn't a wise idea doing all of that, and you might be sat at home watching thinking, I wouldn't have been going through that tunnel. But one thing I do try and make this, ton this channel about is just going the extra mile, whatever the situation. Just pushing myself to just do that extra tiny little thing that might make the difference between, well, A, a fish or no fish, and B, a good viewing experience for you all at home. So this little bit I'm coming up on now, I've caught a fish in before. So, with a bit of luck, I might just be able to pull one out now. Fish! Fish! Oh, it's off! Oh, did you see that? Crazy little fish! Again on the barbless hooks. Just the price you pay, in it. That was going crazy. Tiny little trout. Half the size of the one I just caught before, but... Oh, I'd have loved to have seen that fish on the bank. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching, as always. I'm sorry this has only been a one fish video, but believe me, there's going to be plenty of big trout action coming this summer. Maybe even soon, sooner than that. I've got some good trout trips planned. So subscribe, like, and I'll see you for the next video.